Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be going up against, again, the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock event. And the reason why I'm doing this is, as well, honestly, I don't play a lot of JP, and I've been having a lot of fun with this event. Um, I also haven't been utilizing a lot of my team, so I'm going to go ahead and just go up against it right now. Uh, as you see here, I'm bringing my Mono Agility team to take it on. Uh, I have a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I did get him. I got lucky with that. Um, I have Vegito. I got a lot of him. Actually, I got a lot of him because I did end up getting a Blue Stone. Uh, at one point in the game, uh, man, when was that? It was during one of the anniversaries, or maybe, no, you know what it is? Exactly a year ago, for the Christmas special, when they had the Blue Stone, I'm pretty sure that's when it was, I ended up getting the Dragonstone pack so I can get the Blue Stone, just so I can get the, the Vegito, because I did not have him. I ended up pulling four dupes, got really lucky with that, so we're going to go ahead and use him. Uh, I do have Toro, I know some of you are probably looking at me like, why are you bringing Toro? But he has Saiyan Pride and Saiyan Roar, which is really good for Vegeta. And everyone else here has Super Saiyan and Fierce Battle. Well, except for this Trunks. Trunks doesn't have Fierce Battle, but uh, he does have, uh, you know, Super Saiyan, so that's definitely going to be beneficial. Everyone else has Fierce Battle, though. Uh, so honestly, when it really comes down to Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, that's really... this is, Having Toro makes it worth it just because of that additional buff that he gets. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into it, and we're going to take on the event right now. Hopefully we can take on... Well, I, I, I haven't actually played it with this team before. Um, I took on other events that were a lot more difficult with this team, so I, I think that I'll be fine. Uh, we're just going to go ahead over here, and we're going to grab some of the key. Um, man, you know, I, it kind of stinks. I really wish I ended up getting the pan. I think I pulled on that agility banner once, and I did not get a pan. So I was a little bit upset about that. Um... Actually, you know, it's probably a smart idea as well, because, so on the global side just released their Mono Agility banner, um, and there are certain times when Majin Vegeta spikes up. Uh, I, I believe, actually, it's, it's stated inside of the banner that certain times rare, very rare cards will have an increased chance of being pulled. So I monitor every once in a while um, the Reddit, and I monitor the uh, uh, my Facebook group that I'm part of, uh, to see if anyone's saying, oh, I pulled Majin Vegeta, I pulled Majin Vegeta. If a lot of people pulled him all at once, then I jump onto it and I'll try to multi-summon out. At that point, I'll probably see if I can get on camera, but... Uh, that was just, you know, you know, what's going through my head right now. Oh, because I would like another Majin Vegeta <laughs> for my team. Uh, anyway, this is a really nice setup over here. We're not going to have any problems taking out the technique, even though we have type disadvantage here. He's very easy to, uh, to beat, to take on. I kind of want to actually pull again on that banner... Uh, the, the Super Saiyan Bardock banner, or Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner, I mean, sorry about that. And specifically because I don't have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, and I would really like him. And he, well, he's Super Saiyan 3, and the Revival unit for Freeze. I really want to get this um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I want to get him maxed out. Because I do have Super Saiyan 3 Broly, which he will end up getting Doken Awakened. So that's a really good unit to have um, to go up against the uh, Revival event to get the Super Saiyan 3 Goku Extreme Z Awakened. Um, plus, I'm pretty sure I have the Golden Frieza. Um, th that's another extreme technique unit. So those two are really like primary stable units to go up against there to get through level 30. 30, yeah, level 30. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Alright, what am I doing here? Okay, because Kaioken Goku gets the... Yeah, he gets an attack buff at the end. We want him up over there. But he has more key, and uh, Trunks will not be able to get it off. And we want Vegeta to take brute of the damage from that yet. Yeah. So what we are what are we gonna do? We're gonna do this. And then that. And then Trunks will be able to get off his super attack. Now I haven't really run this trunks, I just maxed him out to level 100. I really didn't want to mess with him before. Um, so I'm gonna see how much damage he does. I know he's more actually you know what that's a good thing because in the end. He is meant more for defending, so uh, we'll see how much how well he defends against the um, essentially more of a neutral attribute type. Cool. Heck yeah, I know Vegeta is gonna tank a lot of damage, which is awesome. All right, he won't do a lot. One point, oh, 159 million. I do love his super attack, though. That super attack is so awesome. I, I just, I love it. Let's see. Okay, 4,500 for a normal attack. That's not that bad, honestly. Um, all right, so we have friend. We have super Vegeta. Uh, okay, what are we gonna do? Yeah, this is a, this is a tough situation. Okay, we're gonna put Vegito up over here right now, and that's because he has the counter ability, which is really awesome. Uh, we'll have to wait for Tora for the next round to go up with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I would prefer Tora with my friend because my friend Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is more powerful. Um, but this is what, what's going on right here. Look at that crit. Uh, what's happening right here is definitely a lot more uh, worth it to, in my opinion. Uh, I should be able to take out that physical bar without an issue and I'm taking a lot less damage. But 
Yeah, I grinded out this event a little bit last night. I had a lot of fun grinding it out. Honestly, you know, I, could, I haven't said that in a long time. I haven't had this much fun grinding out a Dokkan event in such a long time. I think it's just because I particularly really enjoy the Super Saiyan 3s. <laughs> That's really, I think, all it is. Um, all right, so no any no other buffs that I need to worry about. Okay, yeah, with, with Kaioken in the middle, it, it makes it worth it. Plus, uh, he will have a defense in increase with the uh, with being in the middle because his super attack will get launched. All right, and there's that. Perfect. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. All right, cool. And I was kind of hoping that Bardock would uh, super attack on Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Fortunately, he didn't. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, I did want to let you guys know, I do have a new microphone coming soon. Um, I probably won't have it till January, but I do have a new microphone coming. So my the audio quality is going to get a lot better when it comes to my videos. I know right now it's a little bit, you know, every once in a while you hear some static and it's a, lot, a little bit flat. I try to add some bass to it, but sometimes the, the bass being added to it just sounds odd. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can get uh, everything taken care of. And uh, I, I'm getting an AT2020. Um, actually, before I started YouTubing, I jumped onto Nano, one of Nano's live streams, and I had asked him because I like when, when, when he speaks in the microphone, uh, the sound quality that comes out of his microphone is a lot better. And the other guys, unless if they're running the same things, I don't, I, I hear a difference. I, I really do. Maybe their voices are just different, but I like the AT2020. And then um, I know everyone said to do the Blue Yeti, uh, but I, I checked out the difference between the AT2020 and the Blue Yeti. And I'll tell you right now, the, the AT2020 sounds a lot better. It's a lot deeper. Um, you, you, there's actually a little bit more sensitivity and it still cuts out the breathing. You know, like you don't really hear too much of the breathing. I, I watched all the, all the reviews on them, so... It's pretty phenomenal. All right, cool. We're up on the last round right now. Unfortunately, I want to keep Vegeta in the middle, but... Oh, actually, you know, we're, this isn't really too big of a problem because we only have one up there. So what we're going to do, just to play it safe, we're going to go ahead and get a Sensu Bean up in here. And then we're going to go ahead and also do an Icarus. So, yeah, we have to do Icaruses here because, um, you know, not OP teams. <laughs> and we're also going to use a Balma up in here. because, And that's it. We're, we're not going to use anything else. Maybe I should use a Balma after the Icarus is expired. Uh, either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for next time I play this. <laughs> um, Alright, cool. So there we go. And I should be fine. I don't think I'll have any problems. All those uh, Super Saiyan 3 Barlocks at the end, I really wish I could throw Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta is going to be the one to carry me through this event. Unfortunately, um, I don't have anyone else really that good, or anyone else at Super Tech 10, that is. 1.49 million, which is really good. Uh, I was kind of hoping he'd get the crit. Can he get an additional? Uh, no, it was, that was mine, I believe, so he wouldn't be able to get the additional. Alright, cool. Um, you know what, actually, you know, the Kaioken Goku isn't that bad. Oh, wow, he's really, he's taking some really good hits. That's awesome. Heck yeah. You know, I hope that everything can be in the front. Uh, fortunately not. Only two. I was kind of hoping that they'd be in the front, because that way Vegito can hopefully get the, um, counters on all of them, but that wasn't the case. Um, okay, so now, this is what I did want to show you guys, too, because I know some of you are new. Save the... The Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, he has the highest defense. I just innately know that. 78,000. Um, your HP regeneration comes from getting the same color orbs. So since the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta has the highest defense, it's like defense multiplied by something by the amount of orbs that you get. Um, that's your HP regeneration. So always, if you can help it, give the person who has the highest defense the same type orbs, if you can help it. And I just messed that up for the Super Saiyan 3. Goku! Ugh! Oh man, and then the Vegeta gets super attacked, Vegito gets super attacked, damn it. Maybe I should have thrown the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta in there. <laughs> oh well, um, it's cool, because I'm still going to get the attack buff with my Super, my super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, is going to get the attack buff, which is still awesome. And then we're getting the counter over here as well. Nice. Alright, and 1.3 million, not bad, not bad. And we already did some of that HP regeneration. Wow! You know, actually, I'm thinking about it compared to the Gogeta team that I ran. This team definitely tanks a lot better. I mean, honestly, I, everyone kind of figured that because I'm bringing it's uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Vegito. So it's definitely a, a better setup. Hmm. For, wow, 75 to 88. I don't think it's worth it, honestly. For a couple, uh, about what, that's about 18,000 more, I would say. Uh, or 13,000 more. I think I'd rather have the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta there, because Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta will tank a lot more of those hits. Um, hmm. 
Just to play it safe, we're going to use another Sensu Bean. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it. If, if I'm able to destroy him with this next hit, which I don't think I will, unless he gets like a crit or something like that, then I won't have to worry about it because Vegeta's going to tank everything. If not, if he likes supers and he, and he hits me pretty hard, at least I'll know I'll survive. Look at that, 67, 107. Vegeta, come on, hook me up, bro. 1.2 million. All right, crit. Give him a crit. Give him a crit. No crit. Oh, damn. All right. Um, well, at least it's just all normal attacks. Hopefully, Tora can finish him off. Wow, with his 120,000, he's not getting finished off on that. Oh, he did. Awesome. All right, cool. Yep. And now we go up against the agility one. So I actually did get the question answered for me. Um, I want to know uh, what happens at the end of the fight. Honestly, when the countdown finishes, nothing happens. It just ends. The fight ends. There's nothing special at all. The fight just ends. So <laughs> that's interesting. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do another Bulma just to make this go a little bit quicker. Even if he super attacks me somewhere along the line, I'll be fine. All right, cool. So there's that. And there is that. We should be fine here. Let's see what happens. No super attack. Perfect. So we get the counter. Can you crit? I, I hope we get a lot of crits in here. Oh, too bad. Too bad. Now he's going to do this. Okay. And now he's going to give himself a nice uh, attack buff. And then hopefully that ca next counter will be awesome. So, I didn't know that we are also getting the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. We should be getting that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks in a couple weeks. I'm super hyped about that. Um, I think I mean, that's on the global side, by the way. I don't know how if I'm going to go ham on him or not. I'm actually going to have to wait to see what happens and what life uh, has for me and stored for me. <laughs> I really would like to see, you know, I would really like to have that card. It's a really OP card. The tech one's awesome, too, don't get me wrong. And mine's 100% it. But it's just like one of those things where it's like that, that the physical one is so OP. He hits so hard. It, he's like, he has immense damage just like the deck one, but he gives himself an additional 140% uh, attack buff, I believe it is, for the first six turns, and then it lowers by 40%, or is it 60%? 160%? Uh, this stinks. Um, wow. I'm going to lose because he went grade 8. I just realized that that was a horrible decision on my part. <laughs> wow. Um, I guess we're going to have to wait and see, and yeah. He's going to he's gonna go away from being grade 8. He's going to go away from being grade 8. You can't survive. Like, like, really? Um, awesome. Tora, you have destroyed this. Like, really? I was so close to beating him. I was so close to beating him, and Tora, you had to go grade 8 on me. <sighs> because it's not even like he does a one-shot kill. It's just like, oh, timer ran out. Bye. I am taking Tora off this team. Yep, last three charges. Who here thinks I'm not going to be able to do anything? Me, I do, I do. And look at that, nothing. Oh well, um, unless uh, he, he does do a super attack at the end of it. I don't know, I just saw a screenshot on the Facebook page, so. Yep, nothing. Nothing, we'll see here right now if we're going to lose. I'm so upset right now. That's all I can think of. Okay. Uh oh, what's that? Oh, he just disappears. That's what it is. I guess he goes away. Well, that was anticlimactic. I'm taking him off my team. Oh, I'm really upset. Well, whatever. I'll be back with another video for you guys on this. We're using the same team minus Tora. Don't ever bring a great ape or anyone who could do a transformation to this event. Learn from my mistakes, guys. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me here today. I'll catch you all tomorrow. Peace.